Hello everybody, it's um, Horrorfan Man here again on uh, a bit earlier today on a Saturday. Just got back in from a little shopping trip to Leicester, somewhere a bit different. Got a few from HMV and got some from Asda and a couple from CEX and two through the post. Alright, get straight in. There's quite a few. This will be split into two because I've got a lot of other stuff as well. So, cut the time down a bit. Right. First up, we've got the pit. I think it's known as Jug Face in America, in Canada. Yeah, never seen this, but seen it in um, Fangoria. Looked quite good. You know, it's a fat thing in a pit, a creature, and it has to be fed. It's a bit weird, sacrificing that. Looked pretty good. Seen this here, cheap. First time I've seen it on DVD, so I thought I'd get it. Next up, we've got one I've been looking at for a while. It's one of one film's release of the Banshee chapter. Actually, fantastic trailer for this. Quite disappointed they didn't put it out on Blu-ray, but yeah, this looks really good. But a um, government research centre, and they do tests and all that, and someone disappears, and they go and investigate what happened. Looks really cool, doesn't it? Lovely cover as well. Like that. All right. Another arrow. It's another one of the Roger Corman Vincent Price ones from, you know, Arrow Video. I actually really like this. Looks really good. I know it's only a PG, but I don't mind. It's another Arrow and it's another one in the collection. I really like that cover. Really cool. PG. Right. Got this one here. It's a new comma, comedy one, comedy horror. It's a blind buy. It's called Summer of Blood. Don't really know anything about it, but... You know, you see it there cheap and haven't seen it anywhere else, so I'll give it a go. Yeah, looks pretty funny. Nice cover. Ah, uh, this one, it's an old Mario Bav one. It's a Christopher Lee film, The Whip and the Body. Actually looks really good. It's got quite a lot of stuff on it as well. Yeah, it's got um book clear, it's got cold your commentary, loads of stuff. And Christopher Lee does a interview as well. That's always good for a listen. Got this one, been after this for a while, but only ever seen it on DVD. It's the Atticus Institute. It's another one that's got a really cracking trailer to it, and I'm really looking forward to seeing this. Yeah, this looks really cool as well. You know, it's another one in based in the 70s. Yeah, it's sort of like secret experiments and shit again. A bit like Banshee Chapter, really. Anyone seen any of these? Let me know. There's another one, it's Gal Tomo del Toro production one. Julia's Eyes. It's another one that looks really good as well. You know what I mean? So, about a woman who's losing her sight. So, yeah, it looks really good. I like the look of that. Here's one that's not the greatest film. You know, Mimic was absolutely cla absolute classic for me, but it's Mimic 2. Really cheap. Still got to get the third one. Yeah, I'll give this one a, another look. I'm sure I've seen it before on the Sci Fi channel. Yeah, it's alright. Here's a British zombie film here. Pretty cool cover, the Zombie Resurrection. A bit like a zombie Jesus sort of thing. It actually resurrects all the living dead. Yeah. British film, got to support it, ain't ya? And, nice to see it on Blu-ray. Here's one the wife chose, because she hates spiders. It's camel spiders. Look at that, what a corny picture that is. Love it. Roger Corman. Yeah, it's another one about um, loads of spiders and that, and digging the way through the desert and picking people off. Probably really shit CGI, but you expect that. And finally, the second time of buying this, I bought it before and it had the wrong long weekend in it. It had a teen comedy one. It looks terrible. Yeah, so this is the Australian one. It's the old classic one from the 70s. Basically, that nature turns on humans for once and goes after this couple. So it looks actually really good. Really like the look of that. Glad to finally actually see it. Right, so that's all the ones I got from HMV, and these are all other ones I picked up different places. This is a CEX pickup, really cheap Solstice, with a classic 1990s cover there with all the teens in a row. I don't even know that Amanda Seyfried, that's the only one I know in there. Yeah, you know, it's another one where, this, where they actually things start happening and people start getting picked off and all shit like that. Yeah, yeah, cheesy fun. Got this from CX as well. This is Evil Dead 2. I've got it on quite different versions of this, but this is one I didn't have before. 
I like the old sideway packaging there. It's really good. Yeah, what can you say about that, really? Everyone knows about it. It's a nice release from Momentum. This is an Asda pickup. It's uh, Awakened. Don't know anything about this, but it's been nominated and won quite a few awards. Yeah, another blind buy. Yeah, so I'll give it a go. Yeah, give it a shot. Yeah, another CX one. This is an upgrade of the thing. John Carpenter's original, not the um, average remake. Well, reimagining prequel, whatever it was. This is the classic one that everyone knows about. Got this on Region 1 DVD back in 1999 from America. So it's about time I got a decent version of it. Looks really good. Here's another CX one. It's The Roost. It's actually known as the best zombie bat movie ever made. Um, don't think there is any other ones, is there? Apart from bats, which is often they're zombies. They're just evil bastards, yeah. Really cool cover, though, isn't it? Look at that. I love that artwork. And it's a Fright Fest film as well. So if anyone's seen this, let me know. It's good or not. All right, here's an Asda one. It's another upgrade. I've got the um, American Region 1 DVD of this as well. So I thought I'd pick this one up. Eight quid. Love this film. Never get bored of watching it. Fantastic film. Here's another one from the producers of Wreck, Exorcismus. I've actually got another film with the same title, but sure it isn't this one. It's a really cheap, low-budget one that just took itself too seriously and was shit. So yeah, I'll give this one a go. Some of these films are good. This one looks quite good shit, innit? Yep. Another British one I got from Asda, Curse of the Witching Tree. I think it's the cover that got me, really. Really good. And that's a low-budget British film. Yeah. Another Haunted House one. Yeah. Some people were hung from the tree or something and that, and it's cursed. Probably them two there. Yeah, that's quite good fun. Here's another of the old Anacondas film. Got the first one, had it for a long time. And uh, I've seen this one, The Hunt for the, the Blood Orchid. Yeah, not as, half as good a cast as the original, but you know, that was a great film. Yeah, this will be fun. Big snakes. Yeah. Finally got this one today. I think that's basically all my shameless ones done now. 40. I've got some new ones coming out. Finally, seems like six, seven months since anything's been out. This is Viva. Doesn't really look that good. It's a, basically a, another soft porn comedy thing. So, yeah. Probably be a while before I watch it. Turn on Viva. Yeah, give it a go. And this was a major letdown. My wife got bored and got up and walked off. <laughs> this sat in the garden. The town of the dreaded sundown. The remake looks like ten times better. This was just dull, boring. Nothing happens. It was just pretty shit. The comedy moments in it were terrible with the car keys and the car chase was like Dukes of Hazard. This was average film. Didn't really like it. But also that was on it as well. The Evictors. I've got that picture on my phone. It looks fantastic. It's done by the same guy as well, Charles B. Pierce, who's got a hard on for nineteen forty set films. That was a bit better. Not as good as the poster, though. Woman and her husband move in to this house where these people were big shoot out at the beginning. Basically, loads of things happen there, and this guy keeps stalking around there, and her husband's away, terrorising the woman. It's better than this. That town they dreaded sundown. I won't be watching that again. Yep, it's a screen factory. I've got a few more coming in the post, but they've been fucking me about. Won the auctions, paid away straight away, and emailed him on Wednesday night saying, you know, why haven't you posted them out yet? And he said he was on holiday. So he's going to post them today. I was like, yeah, right. Also got another one from America, and he said there was a problem with the label, so we had to resend it. So they should have been here for now, but I'm still waiting. Great service. And finally, I got the um, Brandon Lee's last film, The Crow. This is the steelbook from Zavi. Not impressed with it. The back looks okay. The front just looks tacky and shit. It's the same as all the other ones they've ever done. It's all blurry. It's just really lazy. It's just a DVD cover on a steelbook. Not impressed at all. And it rubs salt into the wound. It's got interior artwork as well. But look at this. The interior artwork is identical 
to the exterior artwork. <sighs> wow, really well done that. Not impressed with this at all. You know, Zavi, yeah, putting out too many steelbooks now and you're getting lazy. That's just crap. Not impressed at all. And it's feels more plasticky. It's shit. Right, that's it for part one of my um, update. I'll be doing part two maybe later tonight or tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for all my new subscribers. Um, leave your comments below. Give me the thumbs up if you like it. And yeah, cheers everybody. See you guys later.